Modding is one of the greatest things to happen in gaming. Sometimes replaying a game with mods can make it feel completely new. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different from the usual lore content we do. Today, we're going to be counting down our top 10 picks for the best mods that you need for Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2023. This list is going to try and only show mods that actually change the game and what you can do in the world rather than just simple mods that don't really change anything. So sorry guys, that means no tattoo covered Arthur on this list. Although, he does look pretty cool. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because these mods are absolutely game changing. Also, a lot of the mods on this list are two or three in one packages. This basically just means that with some of the mods on this list, we will show you more mods that pair well with it. There's actually more than 10 mods on this list. You'll understand what I mean later in the video, but without further ado, let's dive deep into the mods of Red Dead Redemption. Rampage Trainer by Rampage Dev. So most games that you want to mod, you'll want a trainer. A trainer is basically an in-game tool that allows you to do things like teleport around the map, spawn entities, and change the time or weather. It also allows you to give yourself millions of dollars to donate to camp. This trainer is really special though, because it allows you to do basically whatever you want. If you only wanted one mod, then this would be the one. And we believe it's the perfect gateway into Red Dead modding. Number two. YM's DLC by YM. This mod is for the customization of your character. The character customization in Red Dead is already pretty good, but it could be better. There aren't too many good options when it comes to clothing and even less options when it comes to hairstyles. This mod gives you a huge amount of freedom and creativity when customizing your character. Not only does it add more options for clothes and hair, but it also adds many new options for your horse. From saddles to accessories to even giving your horse a mustache. The only problem I have with this mod is that if you want to buy clothes, you can only buy them at trappers instead of tailors in the cities or towns. But overall, this mod is still great. Basic Needs and Horse Needs by Ballman70 plus Immersive Scenarios by Maybell Elizabeth Coulter. Now this is a 2-in-1 combo. If you want a little added realism to your game, then the basic needs in this mod is the way to go. Now this mod takes the survival aspect of Red Dead to another level, with extra added cores for hunger, thirst, sleep, and even pee. Yes, you actually have to pee. This mod actually gives you a thirst level. And the way this works is that the mod actually adds a water canteen to your inventory and you need to go down to a river to refill it and eventually you drink all the water and the cycle repeats. There's also a weight system that slows down your character depending on the clothes you're wearing or the type of weapons you're carrying, which I actually recommend turning off in the configuration file when you get the mod. There's also a horse needs mod that is basically the same idea but with your horse. Another mod that adds a little more realism is called Immersive Scenario. This mod really isn't needed, but it's a nice little mod that allows you to do basically anything that has an animation, such as playing the guitar, sitting and smoking, and butchering meat, and a whole lot more. If you wanted to add an immersion to your game, these mods are some of the best you can choose. Number 4, Maverick Weapons and Catalog by Maverick OIO. So this mod greatly helps with the combat and gunplay mechanics of Red Dead. This mod gets rid of weapon sway, bullet spread, and fall off, as well as makes the special ammo more effective, which makes your guns way more accurate and deadly. This mod also just reworks and overhauls the guns to make them perform in a more realistic way. This mod can also remove weapon degradation and gives you infinite ammo, however this is completely optional in case you guys don't want to break immersion. This mod changes the gunplay in Red Dead in a very nice way and simply just makes it feel way better. Companion System by Bowman70 Some of my favorite missions in Red Dead are the simple side camp missions you get in game, such as fishing with Javier, doing house robberies with Sean, or robbing coaches with Lenny. The downside of this is that you can only have these interactions with these side missions, but this mod can actually make it to where you can bring any of the gang members with you to do anything. This mod also works during missions. I haven't tried this, but I don't think you should because I feel like it would break the mission script. I might be wrong, but if you want to try it, you can. Either way, this is a great mod that adds a nice little touch to the game that builds more attachment to the amazing characters of this game. Number 6, More Pretty Gun and More Engraving by SFYZB. So like the YM DLC, this mod adds more customization to the weaponry of Red Dead. It basically just adds more engravings to the guns. Nothing more than that, just a pretty simple mod that adds really cool engravings to the weapons of Red Dead. 
Authentic Euphoria Motions by Angry Wolf 950, Bloodlust by YM, and Headbleed by Excellent and Cut Dialogue by Pixie 5. Something that made Red Dead Redemption's gunplay really stand out was the euphoria physics in the game, which made the ragdolls work really well and look very realistic. These physics were also in GTA 4, and these are probably the best ragdolls we've ever seen in vanilla gaming. The ragdoll that we have in vanilla Red Dead 2 are great, but they tend to land in the same couple positions, which kind of breaks immersion. Authentic Euphoria Motions, or AEM, makes the ragdoll physics of Red Dead look very realistic, and the way the ragdoll reacts to gunshots is also very realistic. This along with some gore mods such as Bloodlust or Headbleed pairs very well with the ragdoll. All of this together makes the combat in Red Dead feel unlike any other game with the added realism. Number 8. Gunsmith Business plus Jobs Mod by Bowman70 Have you ever wanted to make a little extra cash in Red Dead without the headache of worrying about honor or lawmen? Well this pair of mods allows you to do just that. With the Gunsmith Business mod you're able to buy out any gunsmith around the map and run the operation. You can buy guns in bulk to sell them in your store and you can add upgrades to your store. This mod is actually pretty comparable to the drug operations you can run in GTA 5 Online. The format kind of works in the same way. Along with this mod you can get the jobs mod which adds small jobs you can do around the map such as delivering goods, chopping wood, or working in a saloon. And if you want something to spend your money on you can get the buyable properties mod also made by Bowman70. In this mod you can buy a house somewhere in the map and you can actually customize it. There's more customization options with this mod in Red Dead than there is with the apartment customization in GTA Online. If you haven't noticed, all three of these mods are made by the same person, Bowman70, which he makes great mods and his page is definitely a great place to start when downloading mods for Red Dead. Bounty Hunting Expanded and Enhanced by Stivy and Bank Robberies by Unlosing Plays. So in Red Dead, there's only so many bounty hunting missions that you can do before there just isn't any more. But this bounty hunting mod gives you an unlimited amount of bounties to do. And it kind of works the same way that bounty hunting in Red Dead Online works. But something that Rockstar missed out on with Red Dead is the ability to rob banks at your own free will. Bank robberies by unlosing plays allows you to rob banks just as you would with regular stores in Red Dead. And the takes are pretty decent. This is a nice fun way to get into some action with the law, but it's also just a fun way to make some money. Number 10, any John Marston restoration mod. So as we know, Rockstar has completely disappointed us when it comes to the way John Marston looks in the epilogue of Red Dead 2. He looks nothing like how he does in Red Dead 1 and most people have been upset about this since the game came out. However, with mods, this can be fixed. Nexus is filled with mods that fix John Marston and a lot of them are very good. The top options include John Marston 1911, John Marston Classic RDR1 Face, and John Marston Classic Stubble and the classic cowboy, all made by Guy Corleone, along with JM Animation Overhaul and JM Facial Animation Overhaul made by Richard Hertz. Another person that's been working on some John Marston mods is Keeny Mod DX, who is a friend of the channel and I really recommend you check him out and his mods. Keeny Mod is also world famous for making the greatest mod the Red Dead community has ever seen, and this mod is the Zonkers Gun Mod. All right, thank you so much for watching this video, boys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like the video and subscribe and turn on those notifications because we just want you to be notified of when we drop these banger videos every week. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys also join the Discord server where you can, you know, stay up to date on what the behind the scenes for Zonkers looks like. Also, we just hit uh, 8,000 subscribers and by the time uh, this video comes out, we should be at like 8.7 or 8.6k subscribers, which is insane, which is almost close to 9,000 subscribers, which is almost close to 10,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We really appreciate it. Uh, as always, peace and love, and have a zonkin' walkin' day.